first thing we're going to start with is our basic sleeve you should cut your sleeve to the length you want right here i have a long sleeve that has been cut fold into two and then notch both the top and the bottom along the middle after doing that the next thing is to take your ruler and draw a straight line following that middle point that you have notched the line should start from the bottom all the way to the top of the sleeve once this has been drawn we can then keep the sleeve away for later use next is get a rectangular piece of fabric if you have scrap fabric it's fine you're going to fold your fabric into two first of all this way and then fold into four we want to cut a circle after folding it into four we are going to get our measuring tape place your tape from the point there where all the folds are and I'm using a five inches wide measurement from that pointy folded edge, just as if you were cutting a flare. So I cut five inches round. I mark five inches round and then cut away the excess. You want to cut multiple circles like you can see right here if you've been working on a lot of flare projects you should have circles lying around in your stash so that's what i will be using the next thing is to get your circles and then you're going to iron stay on it i'm using paper stay here another hack you could do is double like double it or triple it just to make it more thicker so you iron all around each of the circles i'm going to be working with five circles for this project five cones so if you're going to be doing more than five cones then you iron for every single one you're working with all right so we have all the um circles fused with stay fused with this paper stay the next thing we're going to do is fold it into two and separate so because i'm going to be using this ankara as well for the lining like one full circle will do one cone with lining that way right let's do that So front sides facing front sides, separate it. Now we'll just take this to the sewing machine and sew around this area. So the next thing is to turn everything to the right side this way but you need to iron it again when you turn everything iron it to make you relax all right so we take each of this now and then you want to sew it this way so for me fold it this way and sew it close Just trim everything up, and this is how it's going to be. Okay, okay, so here is our sleeve. Remember, we have already drawn a straight line from the center that's from the top to the hem area. So, you want to go ahead to hem this 
bottom part of the sleeve to finish it neatly and then you're going to start taking your cones to arrange them okay so i'll start with this now this is the part that we sewed close this is where the rough edge is this is the part that will now be placing on the line okay so this way i'll pin it so when i'm sewing i'll make sure that i will use my sewing machine and sew on this line the inside here so the next one i'll use is this one i'll place it here so you want it to overlap about an inch to just overlap on the inside that way and then i'll pin let me see if this five will will enter to sew it easily you can't pin everything at once you now have to start when you sew the first one from the top when you sew it then you now have to place the second one so it place the third one and that way um, depending on the number of cones you have so to the sewing machine and let's sew this up so you have to sew it this way that's from here this way okay feed it into the sewing machine this way and make sure that you are sewing on this line okay you sew as far as you can get to because it's obvious that you won't be able to get to this pointy tip so as far as you can get to then the rest you just use your needle and try to tack So on this part here, you use a needle and try to tack this cone, this pointy part to tack it down here. Okay, so we'll take the next one. This is the next one. Place it, let's overlap it well. Overlap it well this way. So I'm doing like one and a half inch overlapping i'm also aligning that line that seam line of the cone to the straight line we drew and i'm sewing The next thing to do now is to hem this bottom, the sleeve, hem the sleeve. After this has been hemmed, we will now close this together this way. Let's put the side seam to side seam and then sew the sewing allowance you left.
and you can turn it back to the right side. Do the same technique for the second sleeve and that's how you have this beautiful sleeve design. And let me know if this video was helpful and if you're going to be trying this out. Is this too much for you or is just something unique and perfect? I'd love to read from you. So we'll see you in the next tutorial. Stay safe. God bless you all.